This is ABC 15 News at 6. A woman with breast cancer is about to have her cancerous growth removed here at Chandler Regional Hospital. But because of a revolutionary new procedure, the surgeon will save her breast. Come with us and watch. And a simple procedure for a surgery, but for breast cancer survivors, it is a major breakthrough. Well, a team of doctors in Chandler delivering a message of hope to women everywhere. ABC 15's John Dupree is about to show us a medical pioneers here in our valley. They're using a new cutting edge technique that doesn't require removing a woman's breasts. If that small group of doctors in Chandler have their way, word will soon get out to the more than 3 million women in America now diagnosed with breast cancer. They don't have to have the mastectomy and lose their breasts. There is a breast preservation alternative. So we'll make an incision here. Another busy day for Dr. Edgar Hernandez at Chandler Regional Hospital. It's very simple. With the scissors, we just take tissue around the actual cavity. A simple procedure for this surgeon, but for his patient, a breakthrough. Her breast is going to be perfect. Dr. Hernandez is removing breast cancer, but not the way most surgeons do it. This is not a mastectomy. Why do a mastectomy if you can give the patients cosmetics and good, excellent results? Hernandez cuts out the cancer in a little surrounding tissue, then inserts a balloon-like device that will serve two purposes. Fill the void, preserving the shape and size of the breast, and distribute the cancer-killing chemicals during radiation treatment. Dr. Hernandez, one of the first few surgeons in America to perform this breast preservation surgery, is a crusader. I've always said it, my patients have heard me say it, doctors have heard me say it, we do way too many mastectomies in this country. <laughs> that is the woman who was on the OR table. Sandy Solly couldn't be happier. This is the best of both worlds. Next step, radiation therapy. But now that she has the balloon implant, her treatment, known as mamocyte, will take only five days instead of the usual five or more weeks. You know, I got in with the right doctors. Her oncologist, Eric O'Lear, says despite the results, other doctors are still slow to adopt the mamocyte treatment program. Most of the problem is that there's a lot of biases out there um, that some, some practitioners feel that one treatment is better than the other. But we have long-term follow-up with very large studies that shows that these are identical in terms of cure rate. That I was told it kind of really wears you out. Survivor Carmen Matillo, diagnosed one year ago, praises Dr. O'Lear for suggesting an unusual cure. My life has gone back on track, back to work, back to the everyday routine, and it's, it's back to normal, and I love it. People kind of need to keep up on what's going on. Cancer survivor Shirley Osuno, Dr. O'Lear's own mother-in-law, expresses regret that she didn't have the option of breast preservation and mammocyte treatment when she was diagnosed more than a decade ago. The shock of it is, is when you're done, and you actually see yourself, um, you really don't realize how really concave you are. Survivor Sandy has words of advice. Always get a second opinion. If that's not what you want, I mean, if you're fine with that, then go for it. But if that's not what you want, then there's other options available. John Dupree, ABC 15 News, your Valley News leader.